uh, for now we're going to test the charge and discharge circuit of this uh, ultra capacitor management system so for this testing this the uh, this is our design circuit for this charge and discharge as you can see we're going to check the charge enable cp enable and discharge enable so uh, this is the uh, algorithm or the control algorithm for the discharge charge enable for the charge and discharge circuit and we'll just verify the signal that uh, does it receive by the board from the local pc so um this is the charge and discharge circuit and this is the pins corresponding to the bk76200 which are the uh, p charge enable discharge enable but for this test we're just going to test discharge enable charge enable and cp enable so yes uh pin j14 uh, here pin j14 uh, j14 is the charge enable so um, when I charge enable see it means uh, this oscilloscope uh, acknowledges the command sent by the null PC to the BQ76200 so from this uh, PC going to this CDC circuit of the capacitor management system CDC circuit is the charge and discharge circuit so uh, now we're going to move it to um, pin 15 or j15 so this uh now it's connected to j15 so j15 j15 is the discharge enabled so we're going to control the discharge enable like this See? so it means that that the uh bq76200 which is which is used for the cdc circuit acknowledges the command and lastly for the cp enable is the j16 so for j16 we're going to Put it here. So that's J16. So for J16, same test. So we verify the um, acknowledgement of the command received here in this oscilloscope. Um, by the way, we use uh, 25 volts power supply for the CDCC, and this uh, our test load, which is a motor. So for this one, it means that. Uh, the communication between the local PC and the charge discharge circuit of this capacitor management system is uh, successful. So, um, yes, this is just for verification of the CDCC circuit.